Hello, we are here in Minecraft once again, and I'm here with Debster. How are you doing? Very good, thank you. Hello. Hello. Right, so we've got a bit of progress, and we wanted to kind of show it. Um, if we go out, by the way, this room is kind of a bit different from last time. We've done a bit of redecorating and stuff. And if we look behind, we've got this. Which, um, quite tall. We're gonna get down. And what is it? Well, uh, if we go this way, we can see the whole thing. It's got a beacon, a beacon on the top that gives us that speed boost that we need. And there is a uh, Enderman, which I want to murder. For no apparent reason. On if we go up here, uh, is a mob grinder, and this is what we wanted to show, really, because we spent quite a bit of time doing this, and we thought, you know what, let's show it. So every few seconds, we just get a little bit of something coming down. And it works almost everywhere around the base, which is quite handy. Sometimes uh, witches or mobs don't fully die, but they're really low. So just bashing ones gives you a bit of experience, mainly for the gunpowder, the string, the bone, things like that. That's what we want it for. And we'll show how it works. Uh, so if we go up here, through this water column, we go into this area. We should see somebody drop it in a minute. We've had a few creepers a bit ago. Right, let's uh, see how it works. So, this is the redstone system that counts to 23 and repeats. So, it gives it a few seconds it to fill in and we can get up <laughs> so all the redstone goes around here and what it's doing is cycling the the water cycling the same the, so pretty much now you'll see that all the water uh, goes off. All the water goes off now. And there's a bit of space. This is only one level. We will do another level at some point. And when the water fills back up, get out. Everything gets pushed down the hole. It's a general idea. It still needs a bit of sorting. I've lost a block in the water. <laughs> Oops, it'll be at the bottom. We'll come and fix it in a minute. And this is the beacon that we've got. Um, yeah, let's see if we go down now. Just one second, guys. Let me just fix that block. Just... <laughs> yep, it'll be at the bottom. We jump down, and as I say, everything just comes down here. There you go polished you can go up and down quite easy so it's not really a problem um this is kind of like the maintenance area because every now and then the water we found that it desyncs for like about three four minutes till the that clock there comes back onto itself so that's something that we need to sort by adding another clock at the other side of the of the area. But we haven't been able to sort it yet. And we've done a few uh, more things. We've got... Uh, one second. In my ender chest, got a few more diamonds. And we've got that netherite upgrade. Some more mending bugs. And we, we're slowly getting there. But we 
going to be wearing netherite armor soon. So, yeah, that's how that mop grinder works. And I'll just show you roughly the idea behind it. So, at the moment, this is the actual floor. This is like a nice area to look out of. So, technically, we're going to make another level, two, three, four, however many, and put a beacon instead of there. Uh, spread on the floor level because the radius is bigger we found out and down here we are mining all this area all the way to here and to bedrock that's the idea to maximize all the spawns from this thing which this is how it works pretty much it's per it's perfect for spiders because uh, it's got a ledge that they will end up falling, but also it's too wide for the spiders to actually grab onto anything. So what do you think, Dexter? You like I think it? it's very good. Yeah, I love it. I get all my arrows from here. <laughs> there you go. Somebody's happy. And yeah, yeah it, it looks pretty good. Let us know what you think. Uh, the design is not final. We can change a few things on it. I don't really like how this bit looks at the top, uh, but those were the blocks that we had most of, so that's what we finished it with. And if we go down here, I'm going to go off spectator mode. That's the only mode I ever go into. No creative, no cheating. It's all survival. I just want to use that spectator mode to kind of see the ins and out. So pretty much we've got this area. And these amethyst blocks that we've put on the way is exactly where the buff from the beacon reaches there's more than anything a technical uh, information for us to know so that we need to put another beacon halfway in between them eventually so that we have the speed boost or whatever boost we want at some point we just heard something fall didn't we yeah i think it was a skeleton i think it was a skelly so let us know what you think of the design. Uh, it's an automated uh, water pushing uh, mob grinder. Because I don't find the trapdoors very reliable. And if you make it a bit thinner, uh, the spiders really clog it. So this is the design I like to do. And this is how the sorting system is coming along. We are not shown it. Only showing a little bit of it. Coming along better. It's got uh entrance area that's covered up now. And same thing. We are actually using it right now for some other things. We just need to do another section once we've got the materials necessary. But yeah, it's coming along pretty well. And uh, everything gets stored in there. It's amazing. It's so good. We just come to the bottom ones and grab it from the bottom one. And everything just sorts itself back down. And yeah, that's all guys. It's a quick information video of how we're doing in the server. Uh, we've also been flattening that area. And we've got uh, a trident area. In the sense that we're doing an underwater uh, copper farm fighting area for all the drown there should be dr loads of drowned around here it's a river region but we don't have the breathing equipment so i'm gonna just go back up because yeah don't want to drown oh we've got a breathing helmet a turtle breathing helmet each and it works really good with respiration three and that other thing. Let's go to bed. We also have the small pumpkin farm and watermelons. Yeah. yeah. So that's going well as well. Let's go to bed quickly. We're going to get killed. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, the next time we might show somebody else's base in the server, but now we're just sticking to ours.
because they're just finishing a few more touches before we show it but we were quite happy to show this mop grinder that we built here so see you later guys and thank you very much for watching bye <laughs> bye